Charles Leclerc reveals how he was struggling quite a lot ahead of Chinese Grand Prix the Ferrari star, 21, just couldn't get to grips with the Shanghai track throughout practice and the omens looked bad ahead of qualifying. The team made late changes to his car in a bid to give him some extra pace and it paid off. His time of 1,31.865 was good enough for fourth on the grid, a result Leclerc would have taken given the problems he's had to deal with. I made a mistake in the last lap and I shouldn't have done that, he said. Overall I think there are some positives on my sides as FP1, FP2 and FP3 I was quite lost. I was struggling a little bit, actually quite a lot, and we made a final change for qualifying and it was better. Overall I drove better and the lap time came but it was disappointing as I had the potential to do more today. I will push to try and do the best tomorrow. Valtteri Bottas took pole and came second while Leclerc's teammate Sebastian Vettel will start from third. It was Mercedes 59th front row lockout and F1 legend Johnny Herbert praised how Bottas and Hamilton had got going in Shanghai. The way Mercedes have applied their method that has worked very, very well with that grip that they seem to have, we know their straight line speed is lacking, but it's the drivers, he said. They've got the very best from the car. Both of them pushing each other has managed to help them stay ahead of Ferrari. I think it makes it brilliant for Sunday's race. Overall we've got to say how well the drivers have been able to do what they've needed to do, especially Lewis as he was on the back foot at the beginning of qualifying. My my my, didn't he manage to do a good time in that last lap. Next news came AG, Vettel did right thing to Verstappen. Kevin Magnussen has said Sebastian Vettel did the right thing overtaking Max Verstappen in qualifying as he got his lap time in. Tensions rose during in Q3 with Verstappen going mad with Vettel and the two Renault cars after they overtook him in qualifying and left him caught out by the clock when trying to put a final hot lap together. Verstappen was fuming back in the paddock and vowed to start ruining other qualifying sessions for drivers in future, while Vettel defended his decision to get past the Dutchman. Magnussen, who along with teammate Romain Grosjean was also affected by traffic issues in Q3, said Vettel's call proved to be the right one as he managed to get a second lap posted. In the end, if they got the lap, then they did the right thing, Magnussen said when asked by Motorsport.com whether Verstappen's complaints were justified. It was pretty messy so at the end of the lap everyone was trying to, I guess, get started, but also have somebody in front. So it ended up being too much and costs a few guys the lap. Everyone also went out at exactly the same time out of the pits. We were following each other and towards the end of the lap you didn't know whether to try and overtake people, which in that case they are going to defend and it was messy. Magnussen saw the funny side of the whole incident, saying he probably would not take the same action as Vittel because he would feel that he would compromising his own lap. I didn't want to be an asshole, Magnussen joked. You know what I mean. I didn't attack anyone not because I'm a gentleman, but because I thought my chances would be pretty poor of actually getting past people because people don't want you to get past and it's just messy. I don't want to screw anyone. I don't see any point in that. I try to do my own thing and try to do a good qualifying for myself and I would never try to screw anyone just for the hell of it. Magnussen and Gris Jean will line up P9 and P10 respectively for the Chinese Grand Prix. Next news I haven't forgotten how to drive, warns Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo has lashed out at his critics, telling them to show patience after he qualified best of the rest P7 for the Chinese GP. 
The Aussie has been off the pace of teammate Nico Hülkenberg since joining Renault for 2019, while also suffering retirements in both the Australian and Bahrain GPs. The 29-year-old marked his first Q3 appearance of the season in China, claiming P7 and outpacing Hülkenberg by a mere force. After a tough start to life with the French manufacturer, Ricciardo is seemingly turning the tide at the track where he took victory last season, and reminded people to show some patience. It's only the third race. I think some people are thinking we've had half a season already. It hasn't been that long, Ricciardo told reporters when asked whether the early season criticism directed at him is fair. I haven't done anything that makes me forget how to drive. I know it's been a long time since I was on a podium, but I still remember what to do. People, just need a bit of patience. In football, for example, one guy gets a hat trick and the next two games doesn't score a goal. It's like what happened? One week ago he was the king of the show. When you're at the top level in any sport, People always have the expectation that you should be at the top every single day. For a lot of people, it's short-term, memory. With Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull ahead, Ricciardo doesn't expect to gain much ground in the race, conceding that holding station would be the best possible result for Renault. This weekend as a whole has been a bit smoother. Yesterday morning, in first practice, I felt more comfortable, he explained. I'm not surprised, with the qualifying result, because yesterday I was already in that direction. On paper, we're at the front end of our group. The three teams in front of us do have faster cars at the moment, so if everyone has their best race, realistically seventh is probably our best result we can ask for. If both cars finish 7th and 8th tomorrow, we're probably not popping champagne bottles, but I think we're going to be pretty pleased. Next news we were chasing time says Rikkonen. Kimi Rikkonen believes Alfa Romeo were chasing time a lot after he qualified P13 for the Chinese Grand Prix. The Finn missed out on Q3 for the first time this season but was only two tenths shy of Daniel Ricciardo, the final man to make the top 10 shootout in Shanghai. It proved a miserable afternoon for his teammate Antonio Giovinazzi who didn't even turn a wheel in qualifying due to a suspected power unit issue. Rikkonen believes the team had the pace, but were losing out badly on the long back straight despite their links to Ferrari who have been feared for their straight line speed this weekend. A few runs were pretty okay, the first run in Q1, he explained. But I got sideways in the last corner and the next two were pretty average. But I had a good feeling in the last one, it was more how it should be. So we just didn't have the speed today. We lost speed on the back straight but we were on our own. Maybe the wind was a bit stronger on that lap compared to the previous. It is how it is. Asked about prospects for Sunday's race, he said, we'll see how it is tomorrow, but I would say a few of the free runs were pretty good and two in the middle were quite tricky, but I think the tires seem to be behaving slightly different all of the sets. So not the easiest. Team boss Frederick Vassar claimed the former world champion's drop in pace was actually due to a strong gust of wind, but refused to use that as an excuse for the Q2 exit. It was not a loss of power, it was a loss of top speed, said Vassar. It was very strange. The headwind is going up like crazy. I think there was a small group with us. Valtteri, Bottas and another one, and nobody improved their speed during 5 or 10 seconds. But it's not an excuse. The first two events I think it went well for us. Sometimes it was a matter of hundredths, and we were on the top of the cutoff and sometimes you are just below it. You have to accept it. 
I think the race pace was strong yesterday. We'll see at the end of lap 1. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wish health and success. Goodbye.